So let's get started by looking at the project management tile. As you can see, there are three categories here. They are good, fast, and cheap. And guess what? You get to pick two. Now, why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this just to prep you of what you can face in any production. If something is cheap and fast, it's gonna be lower quality work. If something is fast and good, it's probably gonna be expensive. And if it's good and cheap, it's gonna take some time and planning, hence the importance of pre-production. So with that being said, welcome to Pre-Production 101. If you're interested in making a show or video or movie, but you just don't know where to get started, then keep watching this class. It's going to help you clarify your process and help communicate what you want. I'm going to walk you through how to make a production proposal worksheet. And basically that's gonna cover the who, what, where, why, and how of anything you wanna make. Almost every high-end production has a production proposal. And I've simplified it for the public access community by calling it the ODAL form. So ODAL is a way to remember your objective, description, audience, and location. The objective is your why. Why are you doing this? Your description is how and what you're doing. Your audience is who, and then the location is where. And I'm going to dive deeper into this the further we go. And as you can see in the graphic, we do have a form which you can access at longmontpublicmedia.org slash resources. The objective is your why. Why do you want to create content? What vision do you have, an idea that you want to explore, or a message that you want to communicate? These are important things to know. What would be your production's goal or purpose? The objective of the objective is to clarify your motivation for doing something, not only for yourself, but get others on board, and you just want to set a goal. Some examples of objectives you can write you might want to inspire or inform people. You might want to teach a class and you might want to share an opinion. You may, you may want to get youth interested in politics or nature or something else. You might want to share the history of Longmont. P.S. If you want to share the history of Longmont, we definitely want your content here. So thanks for joining this class. You might want to promote an event that you're having. You might be a musician and you might want to make a music video that gets people thinking. Your whys are going to be as diverse as we can imagine, just make sure that you get it and remember that your objective can evolve. So don't stress about it. Keep it as brief as you can. Like it's really great if you have all these ideas, but you're gonna be able to hold other people's attention if you just keep it brief. Moving on is your description. What type of program do you want to create? Do you want it to be a 30 second promo? Do you want it to be a 30 minute talk show? What format will best accomplish your objective? And this is where you get to think about it on your worksheet. Some tips you can do to get the ball rolling is think of other shows or videos that you really like and you want to emulate. Again, keep it brief. And if you want to add details later, absolutely, you can go for it. But for your first line of your description, make sure you keep it brief so you keep people's attention and they know what you want to do. We've got set up for a live three camera show in studio. You can record it like it's live and you can edit it and put other things that you want to do later in there. We can also help your PowerPoints pop. We have a podcasting room. We have an edit bay. We have black, white, and green backdrops. We have cameras and a live switcher that you can rent. We also have camera kits. We have iPhones and iPads and we have more. So come down and check us out. We can help you figure out how to mastermind your idea of what you want to do. All right, audience. Who is your target audience? Who do you want to watch your show? And then who are you talking to? And by who are you talking to, I'm talking about demographics, age, gender, location, occupation, etc. If you say that your show is for everyone, you're really fooling yourself because if you're doing like a dating show, like is it for kids? It's not for kids. If you're doing a history show and you could say it's for everyone, that's great, but 
you know, there's different kinds of history buffs out there based by age. Like the younger people, they're going to want something a little bit more zippy, flashy, with lots of pictures, versus older people can have more somber, longer playing videos. Again, I say this because the more specific you are about who you're talking to, statistically you're going to get more views because when you're targeting the people that you want to talk to, those are the people that are going to find your topic and be more interested in it. The content might speak to an unanticipated audience. My favorite example of this is The Office. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. That show was initially for people who would be working in an office, right? They would think it's hilarious and they can find it's really funny, but it did really well with high schoolers. So again, if you have an idea of who you're talking to, then things it just works out better <laughs> location so this is a two-part answer on the worksheet first is you need to know where you intend to publish this content and then you need to know where you're gonna film it if you're gonna share with us we would love to share with you we have multiple channels that are public access in the Longmont community you can also put it on our YouTube channel you can put it on your own Facebook you can put it on Vimeo, which you can put on your website, or you can put it on Instagram. If another example is a film fest. Just knowing where your video is going is going to help you format a video. The other location for where is where do you intend to film it? Once you've filled out all these ideas, you have an idea of what you want, you're going to create an elevator pitch. So an elevator pitch or a log line is a brief, usually one sentence synopsis of a production story or purpose to stimulate interest. Look at your worksheet. How would you summarize your production? Let's say you wanna do a crafting show with a bunch of ladies. You'd say, you know, this is a 30 minute crafting show for people of Longmont who are super interested in being creative. By knowing your objective description, audience and location, then you know what you need for next steps. So if you're feeling really ambitious, you can do a production outline if you have an outline that's a repeatable process, you can easily plug in different show topics so you can repeat a process. Let's say you have a three minute PSA you wanna do. Then you can write a script, which I'm going to cover in another class. Hopefully by utilizing the production proposal, you know what you're gonna do and do it and you'll keep your process really simple. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see your production ideas.